What is up, Blackheart Nation? It's Troy Blackheart Tactical. Uh, by popular demand, we're going to go over Project Honey Badger from front to rear, top to bottom. I'm going to tell you guys about all the components that we put into this build. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So full disclosure on the upper build, I got uh, from Omega Tactical Distribution. I'm a dealer with them. And uh, the upper parts kit was a Ballistic Advantage 10.5 inch barrel, a stripped Aero Precision upper, an Aero parts kit, and an Odin Works uh, key mod handrail. Um, so then all I needed was a charging handle and a BCG. And, oh, and, and I'm sorry, it had also had a GunTech Micro compensator on the front. Um, so all I needed was the BCG and a charging handle and I had a complete upper. <clears throat> so what I did was we went ahead with a Surefire compensator on there so I can use the Surefire Warden blast deflector, um, blast diffuser, blast forwarding device, whatever you want to call it. Um, we used, we went with, uh, the Radian Raptor charging handle and FDE to kind of go with the color scheme of everything. Hang on one second. Radian Raptor. And then instead of going with, uh, I was going to go with a tool, tool craft nickel boron BCG. Um, but I, I decided, uh, since I got the ballistic advantage barrel, why not go ahead and stick with Ballistic Advantage for the BCG? That way I had I knew I would have no problems with the BCG and the barrel mating together. Um, so far, so good. It test fired extremely well. So to finish out the upper, we went with the Trigicon MRO and the Geisley Super Precision 1.93 mount. The lower is the Spikes Tactical Honey Badger Lower. And I just did, you know, some color fill using some FDE paint that I had laying around. We went with the Geisley Super Duty uh, Maritime Bolt Catch and Release. Um, got BCM Hand Guard, Enhanced Trigger Guard, uh, Hand Guard, uh, Pistol Grip. And then we have the Geisley SSP, uh, the Super Dynamic SSP trigger. Um, very, very nice trigger, guys. Very nice trigger. Um, <clears throat> and we also went with the Geisley Super Duty um, mag release button. Um, we have the SBA3 brace from SB Tactical. I went with a Phase 5 SB Tactical uh, brace strap. And then the FDE fluted uh, buffer tube is from JE Machine Tech out of California. Those guys are awesome. They put out some really, really uh, amazing products. So we've got a lot of a lot of things invested into this. I didn't want to break the bank or use one of my actual Surefire lights. So guys, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I went on eBay. And I got uh, an airsoft surefire for this one, um, because this this is this is what I would consider with with the parts included. I would consider it a pretty premium build, uh, so I didn't want to get in any more trouble as it was with my wife. So I opted for a cheap a cheap light. Um, so I got a an airsoft surefire. This thing is still you know extremely bright. Uh, but if it breaks, it breaks. Um, we've got an airsoft pressure pad for the light. And then I just have outfitted it with an Arasaka Defense uh, hand stop, Arasaka Defense QD, and then the Arasaka um, inline scout mount. Um, so that is pretty much it. Um, this is uh, definitely, it, it kind of, I was going to do this on the cheap end of things, but as I got into it and got going, 
this thing kind of took over and I decided, you know, why not build myself something a little on the premium side? So here's what we got. Um, I'm going to get it out to the range pretty soon and uh, see how it groups. Um, now, Ballistic Advantage, if you guys are unaware of them, they're out of Florida. Um, they are a sister company to Aero Precision. Um, they guarantee their barrels to shoot MOA groupings or better. Um, and if they don't, they will replace them. So I'm excited to push this little 10 and a half inch build to its kind of limitations and see just how good of a grouping we can get out of this thing. And I've got a little cheap beater 3X. Uh, it's from Leapers, a Leapers UTG, the MF3. Um, magnifier that witnesses nicely behind this high-rise mount from Geisley. Um, so we're going to be able to stretch the legs on this little 10 and a half inch build. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted on how that, how it groups. Um, if you guys are interested in, uh, in anything else about this build, uh, let me know in the comments below. Outside of that, you guys stay safe, stay vigilant, train hard, black heart out.